Yeah, a lot, uh, a lot of credit to uh, to Coach Wojciechowski, Marquette. That's a it's a really good basketball team. Uh, I mean, we've seen them twice now. I thought we had a better effort uh, this time than the last time, um, but they stepped up, uh, so especially in the second half and when they needed a couple big baskets. Guys stepped up and made them, and it was multiple guys. Uh, it wasn't just Marcus Howard. And, um, you know, they got some stops when, when they needed to get some stops. Um, you know, so that was a little, a little bit was on us as uh, as coaches to to free some guys up better. Um, and I thought the, I thought their big guys, John and Morrow, uh, really, really affected the game uh, on both ends of the court. And so, uh, you know, we, like I said, our effort, energy uh, was, was better. It was where we needed to be. Uh, probably missed some looks that, that we can make. Uh, we just, we just got to get back to the practice court, back to the film room, and continue to work to get better. Uh, Coach, you guys scored the first seven points after halftime, and then Marquette kind of turned the tide a little bit. Why, why, you, why do you think they were able to do that? Uh, well, they, they're good. They're at home, and they, they're, they're pretty good when they play here. Um, you know, they responded. Uh, that's what this that's what this game is about, and that's what, you know, life is about as we uh, we coach to obviously win, win the games and, and but to teach the uh, – the lessons through the sport. That's the beautiful thing about sport is you get to teach those lessons, and, and most of life is about response. Um, when you get down, you got to respond and get up. When you're doing well, it doesn't mean it's going to go well tomorrow. You got to respond and, and get it right again tomorrow, uh, whether that's as a husband, as a father, uh, right now as a basketball player. Uh, so give them credit for responding in that moment. Marquette really wasn't hitting shots in the first half. Was that something you guys were doing defensively? Was that them just not hitting shots? What do you think led to that? Yeah, I thought, you know, uh, defensively we, we had a, a good plan and, and guys executed, and uh, we were there to contest on, on most of them. Uh, a couple of them they got free and, and, and they missed. We were pretty fortunate. Um, you know, second half they made a, made an adjustment or two and, and countered and, you know, and just give, give them credit, and then we had to adjust. and. Uh, but they got a rhythm going in that second half uh, that they that we didn't allow them to get in the first, um, and so you know you kind of got to fight fire with fire a little bit. They have a multi, like I said, a, many guys that can make them. Uh, you got a lot of attention on Howard, which is which is tough. Um, but I thought we executed well in the first half and and not not as well in the second. Laval, uh, like with a lot of I guess spurts that Butler has given up this year, it seemed like it was more a consequence of a of uh, offense bogging down that, that, that than porous defense did did um, was that due to the Bulldogs or was that did Marquette change after that early flurry you had or what do you do you see a, yeah I think they uh, they affected us like I said their uh, their big guys did a good job of cor corralling better job in the second half of corralling uh, and and affecting the rim a couple of big blocks or challenges where we had opportunities right at the rim and missed it um, then we had some good looks, uh, to be honest with you, David, where you know, we'll take those every day of the week uh, with the guys that were shooting them. They were open, and uh, they didn't fall, and that happens too. That's when you got to lock down on the other end of the court and, and, and be able to you know, hunker down and get some stops. Yeah, uh, Sean, where do you think this team is now, uh, uh, you know, mentally? I mean, you've had, had some – Better play, I'd say, in February than January, but you're you're still guys really up against it in order to to uh, get into the NCAA tournament. Yeah, mentally we're just taking a one no approach to every game. Um, I think the guys are locked in. We we didn't win this one tonight, but we'll go back to practice tomorrow and attack each day and try and go one and zero from from now on. Uh, I confess I didn't see it, but somebody was was uh, posting that you were. I don't know after some foul or shot or something you were barking at Aaron. I, I didn't know if, there, if that amounted to anything or not, or if you even remember it. <laughs> no, we we're just competitive guys, and he he was right. He was telling me what I should have done, and I was just frustrated that I had picked up a foul. So it was nothing. We, I love Aaron, and and we're like brothers, so that was nothing. Sean, talk about how difficult it is to guard a player like Marcus Howard. You've seen him a couple of times now. Yeah, he's um, extremely skilled. Um, he's not, he doesn't just do one thing. Um, obviously, he's a great shooter, but he impacts the game in a lot of other ways. So um, you really have, to, really have to focus in on, um, to stop him, and he's just a heck of a player that, that makes big plays for his team.